Hey there, Oilers. I'm Sione and Marzella, and this is Campus Update. To start this episode off, we're bringing you the scoop on Physics Boat Day. Hey, Oilers. Like boats? Well, then you'll love this segment on Boat Day. This fun physics event happened at 10 a.m. on May 22nd at Westminster High School. This district-wide event allowed students to showcase the boats that they built with their own two hands out of paper, wood, and paint. Every individual student or pair then sailed their boat across the pool without sinking. There were so many great successes and many epic failures. So if you're planning on taking physics next year, feel free to sign up for this spectacular event. You won't regret it. My boat managed to sail three times, but that's no big deal. I don't deserve an award or anything. Okay, but if I'm not gonna get an award, then someone definitely should. App is having their annual a -A 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 Academy Awards. Hello, this is Professor Sprout. Not really, this is actually Susan West, but today I'm Professor Sprout, and I am here to tell you about the Academy Awards, the 21st annual APA Academy Awards that will be happening on June 4th. It's very fancy. We celebrate all of our APA students. We're so very proud of them. And the big event happens on June 4th at 4 o'clock. And after that, we have a very fancy dinner that happens in the APA Square. And following that, student dance that happens in the black box. And Harry Potter will be there too. Sounds like a magical time. I love award season. APA's media team recently won an award for a PSA competition. The Greatest Save is an organization that partners Major League Baseball with COPS in order to come together to raise awareness about child safety. And every year they have a PSA competition where students are allowed to enter a segment that's up to 30 seconds long. And this is the second year now that I have entered a PSA alongside some of my friends in media into their competition. And this is also the second year that we won. So last weekend, the organization honored our film by presenting us an award at the Angel Stadium, which Emma Sexton and Bishop Roan, two students that were in the film, were able to go and receive. Until you see my body in your every reflection, it's my body, my choice. Until you've run a mile in my body, it's my body, my choice. Until your heart pumps blood through my veins, it's my body, my choice. Until you've lived in my skin, it's my body, my choice. Until you've made a lifetime of decisions to take care of my body, it's my body, my choice. Statistically, one in four women will be raped by the age of 30. It's not that difficult to prevent. If it's not your body, it's not your choice. It's my body, my choice. One of APA and Campus Update's finest members, Eric Drake, brings us a special segment this week. Hello ladies and ladies. Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be watching the, the, the best movies out there, known to date, um, on this classic show, classic movie review, classic movie review, we'll be watching only the best and greatest movies for you on this very hot summer. See if, uh, come, or you can stay there, or get it myself. Uh, I got my personal collection here of all the classics throughout this decade, 1990 to 1999. It has all your favorites, including Pokemon, Pikachu's Winter Vacation 1 and 2. You can watch both of these during the summer to keep you nice and cool, because when you're on summer vacation, you don't ever want to be too hot. So grab this, leave the refrigerator door open, and get ready for your best winter ever. Next up on our list, we have our favorite actor, the best of this decade, Adam Sandler, Walt Disney's Bedtime Stories. In this movie, he talks about stories that he teaches his children during bedtime. It helps you learn about acceptance and bedtime, because that's something we all need. Remember, just because it's summer vacation, that doesn't mean you can stay up all night. I'm watching you. Next up on our classic movie reviews, or list, summer vacation, we have Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear, that brings all the amazing tales of the bear, Yogi and Bear. The two best friends working together to save Christmas. They are in a national park. You can watch this, so you don't have 
to be bored during the summer without not going outside because who wants to do that? Uh, also, another great movie we have, Space Jam, with our favorite actor, Michael Jordan, WWE Super, NBA Superstar Michael Jordan. He helps us learn that even if you're a man living in a 2D world, you can still be a great basketball star. Thank you. Looks like I'm going to be watching a bunch of movies this summer. But that isn't all you can do. Ben came up with a few other things you can do this summer. Hey Oilers, it's Ben Tapiner. With summer coming up right around the corner, we've got tons of things that we could be doing. Let's get through it. Go to Disneyland. You stand up paddle boarding, you can watch a movie on the beach, you can go to the beach, you can go eat some good food, you can try a dessert place, go on a hike, go, on a, go to a museum, go to an art gallery, you can go to Sunken City, go paintballing, learn how to play the guitar, do some volunteer work, learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I learned how to do that one summer. <laughs> play video games, go camping, sleep a lot, road trips. Oh yeah, you can go to Catalina. You can start on your summer homework or wait until the night before school starts to go to the OC fair, go to a concert, <laughs> visit colleges, do absolutely nothing, Netflix and chill, get lost in Mexico, dress up your dog, learn to double dutch, make a YouTube channel, be the next Mr. Brent 98, learn how to knit like I knit this sweater, help an old person across the street. Now I'm excited for summer. Well, that's all we have for today, Oilers. I'm Ciarni and Marzella, and thanks for watching Campus Update.